guys welcome back to another video it is sunday guys and it is sunday dinner time and i have me some nice good pinto beans right here cooked this in my brand new instant pot so we're gonna jump into this video and i'm gonna show you exactly how i get this done Alrighty, guys so first things first i got me some pinto beans right here and i didn't pre-soak these i just washed them off and Went through it to make sure no kind of foul objects was in it. And I have me some smoked pigtails. These things are huge, so I'm not going to be using any other kind of meat inside of here. And I have me a little regular white salt and some black pepper. Alrighty, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is get all of my smoked meat down inside of here. And this is my first time using an instant pot, so... Something goes wrong, don't nobody laugh. All right, so just gonna get that down in there. I'm kind of a perfectionist, I want everything to be <laughs> sort of lined up. So we finally got that one down flat like I want it to be. Then I want to come in and add my beans to it. All right, you're going to make sure we get all of those beans inside of there. And you can add onion and bell peppers or celery to yours, but I don't normally like those inside of my beans. Now I'm going to come in and add some water to it. In this bowl, I have six cups of water. I ended up using seven cups total. I added just another cup before I uh, closed the top on this. All right, so after I got my water added, I'm going to add me some seasonings inside of here. Just a little black pepper. And I'm going to add my white salt inside of here. I'm real funny with my beans, guys. I don't like, like anything off with my beans. I just like to taste my beans and smoked meat that I put in it. So that's why you don't see me use any onions or onion powder or garlic powder, anything like that. Now this was the eventful part, trying to get this top on, everything else went smoothly, but <laughs> trying to get this top on gave me so much problem, I don't understand why this was so hard for me to get this top on. And I kept lifting it up over and over and over again, trying to get it lined up, trying to get it to close perfectly. And finally, I just took a breath and came back and I gave it one more try and then it finally went on perfect. I realized that it beeps also when it's lined up perfect so I'll definitely be listening for that beep the next time. All right so after I finally got it got that top on and it's time to set this thing. And setting it was pretty easy. I just hit the um, setting for, I forgot what it says on that top one. But you press that button and then I moved it up to an hour and 30 minutes. And I just left it there for a couple of seconds. And then it's going to show that it is on. And once I saw that it was on. I just went, it was Saturday night, so I just went and did my little Saturday night thing that I normally do. Be quiet, Gina, don't say anything to me. This was another part that absolutely see the crap out of me releasing this thing. I should have just let it release by itself. And finally, I pressed it again, and it just started steaming and pouring out just like this. And I was like, I wonder if this thing is supposed to do this. I'm not sure if all of that is supposed to come out like that. So I'm definitely going to check on that and see if it's supposed to release like that or not. <clears throat> but after all of that was done and that little thing dropped down, I was able to just turn it, lift it up. And this was what we have right here. 
You can see me coming with my tongues. And I wanted to see first if my meat was tender. And then I grabbed it and pulled on it. And I was like, wow, an hour and 30 minutes. Unbelievable. <laughs> but it didn't have a little bit too much liquid for me. So I knew that I was going to let it cook a little bit longer. See, the beans is nice and soft. I shouldn't have dropped that back in there, but you guys aren't eating this, so you'll be fine. <laughs> but like I said, this had just a little bit too much liquid in it. So I was trying to just smash up some of those beans and kind of thicken it up a little bit. Alrighty, so after I did that, then I remembered about the, I was watching a video and it mentioned about the saute setting. So I just came in and I re-seasoned it a little bit, needed a little bit more seasoning for my taste. So I added a little bit more pepper and salt. And then I put it on the saute setting for 25 minutes, left the top off. And this is how it looks right here, guys. This is exactly what I want. So my bean and looking as it's cooled down, it's uh, definitely going to thicken up a little bit more for you. So this was absolutely perfect right here for me. So I had my beans done, and I'm just going to give this a nice taste test. All right, all right, guys. Coming in with a quick taste test here. Not going to waste too much time. Got my 49ers about to come on. And yep, I'm that person that pays attention to preseason also. <laughs> but I got me some nice pinto beans, some rice, and some cornbread dressing. I don't have any meat in the cornbread dressing. That's why. So we're going to come right in. I want to get a piece of the smoked meat right here. Some of that bean, rice, gravy. And then put into beans in an instant pot. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. That's good. Always remind me of kidney beans. That is so good. That smoked meat, you can definitely taste it. Mm-hmm. That seasoning was on point. I had to add a little bit more black pepper and salt to it. But that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Some of that dressing. Look at how nice and moist that dressing is. See that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright guys, I'm going to put some hot sauce on this thing and I'm about to go in. Alrighty guys, so this was an absolutely wonderful Sunday dinner right here. I love my new Instant Pot, so definitely stay tuned for more videos and recipes with me using that. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and on Twitch TV, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Not going to have a dessert video today, but I will definitely be back. Remember the hashtag, pray for love and peace.